An absolutely stunning Christmas, 82 degrees here today, out here in the Palm Springs area. Absolutely gorgeous. I know that people are just being obliterated with bad weather on the East Coast, Midwest. My prayers go out to you. We're gonna touch on that in a minute. But I want to share a little bit of news today. Also, stay tuned to this video. I'm going to take you over to one of the RV lots here, one of the local RV lots. The RVs are piling up, just like the car lots are piling up, uh, just like uh, boat lots. Uh, everything is piling up because there are no buyers. Uh, now, with, with uh, interest rates continuing to go up, the price to borrow money is going up, so people cannot afford to buy boats, they can't afford to buy RVs, they can't, buy, can't afford to buy new or used cars, and you are beginning to see inventory pile up. So I'm gonna show that to you, so make sure you stay tuned to this video, but really quick, I wanna share some of this news before we start the week. I think it's really important. Airlines cancel more than 12,000 flights during severe winter storms and scramble to rebook holiday travelers. This is gonna be an economic disaster now for the airlines, like it wasn't bad enough. Now, over 12,000 flights canceled over the holidays here because of weather. Uh, how in the world do these airlines stay in business after this? 2022, um, we are gonna go out uh, with a bang here. It's just unbelievable. Market volatility, now massive snowstorms, massive freezing, airlines in trouble. It just goes on and on and on. Prolonged weather storm causes at least 26 deaths and leaves thousands without power. Uh, on Christmas Eve, nearly, this is according to CNN, nearly one million people had no power. Uh, on Christmas Eve. So this is a reminder to you, a reminder to myself, we must continue with our preparations. Make sure you're putting food and water away. Uh, if you have a generator, uh, if you have uh, a way to, you, you know, to heat yourself with extra propane, extra firewood, extra charcoal to cook with, whatever the case may be, we must continue to prepare. Out here, we'll be coming into to warm weather within a few months. And you've got to figure out a way to keep yourself cool, especially water. Out here, water preparation is so important. But wherever you are, whatever your environment is, you need to be preparing to survive that environment in the case that the power goes out. Here's another one. U.S. declares Texas grid emergency in Arctic blast. Uh, I, I was just talking to Aaron yesterday. He's got his, his wood stove. If you go to Texas Silver, he's got a great channel. Uh, he's showing you how he operates his wood stove and what an incredible asset having a wood stove is in a cold environment and why everybody should have one if you live in a cold environment. Talked to Aaron last night, he's sleeping great. The house was warm and he's doing it uh, so efficiently and so cheap. Yet people just believe nothing bad will happen to him. A grid won't go down, an Arctic blast won't hit their town. And then when it does, uh, they're in big trouble. So uh, again, there is always a chance that your city, your county, your state could run out of energy, could run out of electricity. You need to be prepared for that. Utilities impose rolling blackouts as U.S. power grid in emergency amid coal blasts. Con Edison in New York asking customers to conserve as much uh, energy, as much power as possible. Um, again, the system is more fragile than you think. Imagine if we begin to see more um, man-made disasters taking place on the grid, and we're seeing natural disasters hit the grid right now. Why are you not preparing for you and your family? Uh, I, I think that uh, you're being really irresponsible if you're not preparing right now, if you don't believe that something bad could happen to the grid on purpose or a natural disaster. Natural gas production collapses as deep freeze paralyzes U.S. Uh, producing states cannot produce natural gas because everything is frozen. The ground is frozen. Uh, there's no electricity, no power uh, in order to produce. Uh, supplies fell 10% in a day because of freezing temperature. Think about that. Natural gas, natural gas supplies fell 10% in a day. Switching gears here, uh, the hedge, the most desired Christmas gift in the U.S. What was it? What was the number one desired gift for Christmas this year? It was cash. It was cash. Followed by gift cards, followed by uh, clothing and shoes, followed by food and drinks. But that's interesting. Cash 
is number one right now for Christmas. The season of five finger discount shoplifting, a hundred billion dollar problem for US retailers. Uh, brick and mortar stores, are, are the economy is destroying them. And on top of that, they've got to deal with a hundred billion dollars of theft. How do they win? I don't know. But what does this say about the society right here in the United States where people just take whatever they want to take, they don't even care now. And I, I ask this question daily, what is this going to look like as this economy continues to collapse? What does this look like when people begin to go hungry? If people have the ability to do this right now, what are they capable of doing when they go hungry? When they have absolutely no money, nothing. Uh, what if the grid goes down? What are these people capable of doing if they're doing it right now in the good times? Yes, we're going to look back and these will be the good times. Forbes, these crypto founders and Bitcoin moguls lost $116 billion in 2022. Uh, it was an interesting article. It gives you the, uh, the uh, top 17 uh, moguls uh, who lost the $116 billion. But how many millions of people lost everything in this Ponzi scheme uh, who were just suckers and got taken for a ride. Yes, these people might have lost $116 billion, but how many millions of people, how many billions of dollars did they lose? And how many will lose their homes? How many will lose their kids' college fund? How many will lose their retirement funds? All because they got suckered in to this Ponzi scheme. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna show you this RV lot that I was at a couple months ago that had a lot of inventory a couple months ago. Now, uh, it's getting very, very backed up with inventory. And I drove by it today and I said, I've got to shoot this, this, this uh, RV lot because the inventory is just going crazy. What are they going to do with all of this inventory? And same thing when you go by the boat, boat dealerships, you go by RV lots all through here in Riverside County, San Bernardino County. They're everywhere. They're just piled on top of one another. The car lots now, used cars are piling up all over the place. Now the question is, as all the inventory piles up, where are the buyers? Who can afford to buy this stuff now? As people get laid off, as uh, the interest rates on these loans to buy a car or an RV go up, you have less qualified people, less people qualified or have the ability to buy a car or an RV or a, bo a boat, let alone a house. The housing market is next, ladies and gentlemen. 2023 is right around the corner. 2022, we are going out with a blast here. Incredibly bad Arctic weather, an incredibly volatile stock market, an incredibly bad economy. Now in 2023, this is when I believe we're going to see the big trouble. So hang in there. Make sure you're preparing. Make sure you're walking close to God. I hope everybody's having a great Christmas. God bless you all. Thanks for the cards, the prayers, the donations, everything. None of this is possible without you. God bless all of you. So I hope everybody had a great Christmas. Some of you may still be celebrating Christmas. But I want to make a quick video today and uh, just get a, a quick barometer check of what's happening in the economy. I like to drive by the RV lots, the car lots, and uh, this RV lot is literally a mile from my house and just drove by it today. And I, and I wanted to shoot it for you because there are more RVs sitting here now than ever before. You've seen this lot before, but just to, to give you an idea, let's just show you what's going on today. There is more inventory than ever. So you see RVs back here, you're gonna see RVs up here they're just piled up. And so I'm in the shade here, I apologize. But I just want to just take a few minutes today and just film this for you today, December 25th, Christmas, beautiful Sunday. By the way, 82 degrees today. I feel my heart goes out to all those people back in the Midwest and uh, East Coast, Buffalo, Ohio, uh, all, all these places just getting hit with, with uh, cold, cold temperatures and lots and lots of snow. But I uh, just want to give you an idea of what's happening here in the 82 degree weather. We have a storm front coming in financially, and this has been going on for a while now with these RVs. And we're going to see, continue to see 
more inventory in the car market, more inventory in boats, more inventory uh, in, in the RV business. But uh, I've never seen this place so stacked with RVs and just wanted to show this to you. Take a look at this. These are beautiful units, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some of these I'm sure are exceeding over $500,000. But uh, you can see the long line of RVs going through the parking lot there. A lot, a lot of inventory, multi-millions of dollars of inventory. And I just wanted to shoot this. This is uh, becoming so common. Again, uh, the car lots are piling up, the RV lots are piling up. Who's gonna buy this stuff? And I just thought it was important to shoot because guess what, we're almost in 2023. And we have another rate increase coming in February, which means it's gonna cost more money to borrow money, to finance items like this. Most people that buy these are not paying cash. They're financing these things. Look at this. So where does this all go in 2023, please? Comment down below, how bad does it get? How bad could it get? Some of you believe it might even get better. Please give me your thoughts. But looking at this right here, this is a real barometer of what's going on. Millions upon millions of dollars of RVs. You've got uh, fifth wheelers, you've got campers over here across the street, look at the pile. I mean, if you watched my last video, last time I was out here, at least a couple months ago, uh, it was busy, it was, it was a lot of inventory. I've seen red tags on, on a lot of these units over here. Fifth wheel, you got fifth wheelers all lined up over here. Incredible really, really is incredible. It just goes on and on and on and on. Then take a look across the street. I mean, look, look at the inventory. Look at this. 